Welcome to Beyond the Competition, the SAE University Programs Podcast. Hey everyone, we are back with Beyond the Competition. I am host Scott Schultz. Uh, welcome. I'm always joined by my podcast producer, Mike Sorg. Happy to be here and we're getting ready for Baja up in uh, Tucson, Arizona again, right? We're here with Damon Andring. Damon's going to talk to us about everything we need to know before we go to Baja, Arizona. Damon, how are you doing today? I'm well. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Uh, So, I mean, let's get started. Let's just jump into it. What do we need to know before we go to Arizona? We are thankful to have this uh, Baja this year in Arizona at the one of the local pumpkin patches in Mariana. Um, So, wanted to go over some things for... Uh, the event that teams need to know before they get there. First thing, there's going to be no early access uh, to the site. I know some sites allow teams to stage at the site before they get in on Thursday. That is not um, going to happen. We're going to be following all the times that are in the schedule on the Baja SAE app. Um, Teams need to enter the site from Tarico Road. Um, there's a couple other entrances, but the main entrance is, and the easiest entrance is from Tarico Road. Um, we need to make sure we're not blocking that site entrance um, at any time, uh, whether it's Thursday or the rest of the week. Um, if you do plan to come early on Thursday, uh, there's no staging on Tarico Road. Uh, you can stage on Hardin Road, which is to the north of, of the pumpkin patch there. Um, there will be plenty of event signage outside of the pumpkin patch that will get you to where you need to be. Um, just make sure that you are following these directions and Thursday we will get you paddocked as fast as possible. And then once you're on site, um, we are holding this at an active farm. Um, the farm's not shutting down their operations just in the couple of fields that we'll be using for Baja and a couple of the buildings. So we need to be, um, aware of that when we're on site anything that will be used for baja will be cleanly or clearly marked and um overly marked so make sure you're paying attention to that please don't wander the property just because it's a pumpkin patch in the fall doesn't mean that they are open and have their you know other pumpkin patch things going on while we're there um there are graciously letting us come and and build a baja track on some of their fields and use some of their buildings so please be uh respectful of their areas um pick up your garbage make sure your paddocks are clean that is their parking lot make sure you're using the garbage cans that are around there are going to be plenty of them and then once your garbage cans are full or the cans are near you tie them up and please take them to one of the many dumpsters that'll be around the site um when you're actually in the site just be aware again it's an active farm so there will be farm equipment being used um in and around the area just make sure you're paying attention to that and then um We're going to be using some of the drainage ditches for the water, for watering the course. Um, They are there. Just make sure we're not walking into them or around them or over them. Uh, Please be mindful of them. So uh, we are going to have this event in May in Arizona. And from the looks of the forecast, it's going to be hot and sunny. Please make sure you have the necessary things. Uh, Make sure we have sunscreen. Make sure you're wearing some form of hat that covers your face and neck. If you burn easily, I would recommend some long sleeve lightweight shirts. Um, And the most important thing is make sure we're hydrated. Drink plenty of water. Um, Just keep hydrated. Even when you don't think you're, you, you may, you might be hydrated. Drink more water. That's especially for you, Scott. I know you need to to drink lots of water stay hydrated that's true i am not a big water drinker on site so that's yeah. a great reminder for me Dan. thank yeah, you yeah, need to work on that for sure uh some tech reminders from the national technical inspectors make sure you have the most recent uh printed tech sheet make sure you have it filled out properly with the proper signatures make sure you're bringing your proper weld samples um to maybe help you get through tech quicker for registration at the registration tent, uh, make sure you have your Fast Shark roster printed out and completed. Um, Scott will definitely appreciate that. It'd be helpful. And I doubt we're near any place to print. So, yeah, that's for sure. Uh, you can't be registered. You can't get into the engine check line. You can't really 
do much of anything without being registered because you need those wristbands to do everything else on the site. So make sure you have those fast track rosters ready to go. So printed and signed by everyone on your team. That's right. And then Scott will be there. Brittany will be there to help you uh, get that signed and checked in. And then the last things, just some general Baja rules. Um, make sure we're having good uh, sportsmanship at this event. No need to argue. If you do have any problems with any of the events and the rules, make sure you come to me. I am the person you need to talk to, not the uh, local organizers who set up this event. They're there to make sure you have a great event. I'm there to make sure that all the rules are being followed. Don't bring any prohibited materials onto site, please. That will result in an immediate expulsion of the event. Uh, no questions asked. That's alcohol, marijuana, firearms, any form of weapon. Um, if they're found, uh, you will be asked to leave um, very quickly. Uh, make sure we're not wearing open-toed shoes. I hope no one on the team does that. But this is more for spectators. We want spectators to come. Spectators are welcome. This is a free event. Uh, make sure your spectators come and register at the registration desk, get that uh, sign in and get the wristband. Um, but if they don't have open tour shoes, they're going to be asked to leave. And then one of the other last things is make sure you don't have uh, modes of personal transportation in that paddocks or on site. That's like motorcycles, quads, bikes, scooters, skateboards, roller blades. If it carries you as a person or is motor driven, you probably shouldn't have it on site. So please don't do that. Um, Make sure you review the rules one last time before you show up on site to make sure you understand everything that is going to happen on site where it comes to static and dynamic events and general event um, happenings. And make sure you have the Baja SAE app. We do all of our communications of what's going on while the event's happening on that app. So the more people on your team that have that app, the better because you won't miss like what time lunch opens or if an event's closing early or opening early or if tech opens early, all those things get pushed out on the app. Um, and we don't want to, we don't want anyone to miss that. Uh, so you know, let's talk a little bit about the, the, the space in general. Uh, one, one thing I noticed, like it, it's pretty, it feels pretty compact. Like I, I, I loved, uh, we, we, we got to visit here a few uh, months ago here, uh, with the site visit and, and, uh, you're going to be able to see most of the dynamics, uh, basically from one position to see what's going on there, uh, which, which should be a little helpful for planning and things like that. Right. Mm, yes. Yep. And we'll have, uh, spectator areas sort of drawn out and where teams are allowed to stand to watch um, the different events. So um, just make sure you're following the signage on site. And you'll be able to see as much as we are able to let you see. Yeah. And the nice thing is, I think for dynamics and especially even uh, uh, endurance, I think people are going to be able to see, uh, of course, we're looking at the dy dynamic map now. Uh, if you're uh, with us on the uh, video version of this uh, of this podcast, but um, but yeah, it's going to be a really really fun s sh to see how that um, you know see how you can much you can see on this, and of course, probably not accounting for what uh, the guys from John Deere are going to be doing and building on that for the obstacles and things like that. Uh, but um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a nice open space, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. And shout out to John Deere; um, they're going to do all our track building. Um, we're going from flat farm pumpkin patch to uh super sweet Baja course. So they're really excited. I think some of their engineers and, and the machines that are coming, well, not the machines, but the engineers are super excited to uh to do some operating and have some fun building building a pretty cool event. And it's gonna be live streamed, right? It is gonna be live streamed. Endurance will be live streamed this event. Uh, so we're excited to put it out to the people who can't make it to the Arizona event. Yep. Uh, we have a good team there uh, working on that. And again, it's going to be the endurance event only that's going to be streamed here. So um, and and please, you know, send it to everybody. They see it. So uh, hopefully we can do more of these in the future for Baja. Yes. Yeah, sh we'll shout out Rio Tinto for uh, sponsoring the live stream. Um, we appreciate them doing that and getting us getting Baja out to the masses. Uh, speaking of uh, Rio Tinto, uh, you know, is there anything else we can look forward to as far as the sponsors that will be on site? Uh, we have a large uh, group of sponsors coming in, um, and they'll be under the sponsor tent. Uh, sponsor building, actually, this time. It's nice. There's a little half barn that the sponsors will be under. So um, just make sure you come on Thursday and Friday to meet those sponsors. Uh, maybe end up with a, an internship, a co-op, a job. Um, 
they're they're ready. They're excited to come uh, meet you. Make sure you're excited, just as excited to meet with them. And it's also good to remind people that uh, the, these sponsors usually are out and about in the paddocks, uh, volunteering sometimes out on uh, the tracks for especially dynamics uh, a day and everything like that. So they are around and, and, you know, that's where I think a lot of people also end up uh, uh, talking with people from these companies as well. Uh, so it's a really great opportunity there uh, to, 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 to I mean, honestly network, I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It stands on it. It's, it's, they get to see the part of, of the interview that mm-hmm. you get to talk about, right. Yep. Um, the sponsors get to walk around and see, see the people that they want to, potentially add to their company actually doing the things that they're looking at or they talk about in those interviews um and i don't and i think that's one of the best things about baja is that um, you get to show yourself off um as a student engineer um, a little bit more than you can just in like an interview setting so great opportunities coming so one thing we need to probably touch base on is uh is what are the meals going to look like for this weekend as well so every team should have had an opportunity to order uh, food. Uh, we have it through one vendor. Um, from the sounds of it, it's going to be delicious. So if you ordered food, you'll get your tickets during registration. And they'll be in your registration bag. And there will be a coffee truck on site, from what I understand. So um, make sure you have extra money for the coffee truck. But also staying hydrated. We don't want to drink too much coffee and not becoming hydrated that's right in moderation absolutely but whatever whatever you need to get by uh and be safe yes you mentioned spectators is there anything else that people should know about restrictions about you know around the around the courses or anything like that uh, uh for the weekend for for the extra students that maybe aren't on track or or maybe even spectators that might be coming along with them the the biggest thing is to make sure we're following the signage uh staying behind the do not enter signs um uh, spectators, again, just biggest things are making sure we have closed toed shoes, um, make sure we're signed in and have that wristband. Um, if we're in the paddocks, cause I know a lot of spectators, you know, hang out with the teams, make sure we're staying away from active work that's happening in the paddocks, um, sitting far enough back where we're not going to get hit with any flying metal or, or sparks from a, from a welder. So safety is the number one thing I'm worried about. Make sure everyone's safe on site, whether it's students, teams, volunteers, sponsors, spectators, Scott. Safety is sexy. So, and, and you mentioned some of the things about like the, 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 you know, the site and, and how this is like a different kind of event site. Um, you know, they do these events in the fall and everything. Uh, you know, one thing I do like is, is there is a lot of infrastructure, uh, again, like the award ceremony. And I believe the design is going to be in a, in a full building, um, out there. So that's going to be nice at the end of the, that, you know, and, and the thing we're not going to be, uh, uh, crammed to intent uh, in a tent like we usually are. Uh, so it'll be a little bit, com- bit more comfortable. And, uh, you know, and there's a lot of interesting, I presume some of this will be still up from when we visited. Uh, there's some interesting whimsical things that they have there, um, that I don't know if we want to speak to those and, and, and the access to those, you know, obviously don't mess with anything that's been, uh, 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 that's up there that's decorative and things like that. Uh, so I know there's some, some tractors on site for instance. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't spoke with, uh, Josh Spivey, our lead organizer on what things will be left at the pumpkin patch. I would, again, hope that all of our teams and spectators would respect the site. If you want to get pictures in front of some of the things, you know, to commemorate that you just did a Baja at a pumpkin patch, I think we can arrange that. (laughs) But uh, we need to make sure that we're respecting the site um, and not ruining, you know, what they have there um, for the future in the fall, upcoming fall season that they're going to have. Yes. And to prepare you, there is a train. It will not be operating. Nope, we actually have to take up some of the track to to move us from one side of the field to the other. So, I, I and personally, I understand that they have to take it out probably for the protection of the track itself. But wouldn't that have been a great Baja uh, uh, obstacle there to be part of it? It would have, yes. Uh, but safety first, so I'm okay with them taking it out. Hey, David, is there any other you know opportunities or events that are going to be happening around this event this year? Yeah, so this year we're happy to introduce um, what we're calling an Empowering Women in Mobility panel. Um, It'll be a discussion panel that happens Thursday evening from 6 to 7. This is a live in-person event, um, and it offers a unique opportunity for Baja students to engage with accomplished women in the engineering and mobility industry. Um, 
these women were planning to inspire and empower the next generation of female engineers, just providing them a platform and a discussion, um, sharing examples, networking. Um, so anyone that wants to uh, come to that panel is more than welcome. Again, that's six to seven on Thursday. So that'll be after the business presentation finals and the uh, general uh, rules meeting that we have on Thursday. And that'll be in the uh, small barn, if you look at the do map. We, do we know who's on the panel? Yeah, so we have a couple representatives from some of our sponsors. Um, I don't want to sort of give it away yet. Uh, we have a couple national tech inspectors who are Baha alums that are going to speak. Um, and then our lead um, for the event is going to be the business presentation, uh, the head of business presentation in our Oregon section. So good group of women joining us to to have these discussions. Uh, we're, and we're looking forward to doing this and, and doing it across the series at all three events this year. And I believe there was a, a version of this talk that was uh, uh, held at Formula last year that is up on uh, the YouTube channel uh, at SA University programs as well. So you can get a little preview of that in that context. And uh, it was a great chat and uh, looking forward to seeing that for the Baja crew uh, to uh, attend as well. So. Excellent. Well, Damon, uh, looking forward to this. Uh, really excited for it. You know, it, it was great to uh, see the uh, site in advance here. And I think the students are going to be really excited uh, for uh, a different kind of environment for Baja, honestly, uh, and and see what they can kind of build out of it. So I'm really looking forward to that and, and uh, seeing everybody out there as well. I think it's going to be a nice event. I think, it's, and of course, we know the Arizona crew, uh, uh, Josh and, and, and them do a tremendous job. This is like the technically fifth year he, he's Something he, like that, yeah. he's uh organized things you know barring the you know adding in the helping with uh, uh california and uh and the and the covid event that didn't happen uh so uh he, he's he's a fast expert in putting these baja events together out there isn't he yes he is he he knows his his stuff inside and out and he's looking forward to to this doing this at the at the pumpkin patch and seeing what he can uh, provide to the students awesome it's going to be a great kickoff for the season here so looking forward to seeing everybody out in tucson arizona for this uh coming up here and uh again as always if anybody has any questions about anything going into the event where do they uh contact you guys scott cool comps at sae.org there's the there it is there it is and like we said multiple times read the rules go over things download the app baja sae on your app stores for either phone or as we were discovering before the show you can also download it on your mac if you have one of those too and to see it full screen if uh if need be uh so remember those fast track rosters remember the fast track rosters Printed, as well signed by everybody on the team. We're going to be reminding you here. I'm sure we're going to remind you on CDS Action News as well. So go check that out also on the YouTube uh, channel uh, for SAE University programs. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get also the notifications on the YouTube or have us uh, subscribed in your podcast player. So that also updates whenever we do drop content like this. This is an unscheduled, uh, uh, you know, un un unregularly scheduled <laughs> special uh, release, of course, for these events or for whatever event you're attending here coming up here. So thank you, everybody. Thank you, Damon, for joining us and hanging out with us. Thank you. Look forward to seeing everyone in Arizona. Excellent. And uh, for Scott and the rest of the crew, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Stay safe out there. Thank you for listening to Beyond the Competition, the SAE University Programs Podcast. Show notes for this episode can be found at beyondthecompetition.fireside.fm. Remember to stay tuned for updates on your competition's news feed or app and follow SAE underscore University Programs on TikTok and Instagram. Stay safe out there and we'll see you next episode.